Trade What You See with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. As I said before, there is trouble in the Randolph house, folks. I'm going to, the houses of Mortimer and Randolph Duke. Give me one second here. I'm going to get this chart up here just to tell you to be afraid. Be very afraid. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come up here and show you this chart right here. This is the NASDAQ. And we'll get it up here, and you'll be able to see it without too much trouble. I'll walk you through this. Be happy to throw stones at me if you think I'm crazy, but this is the 382 retracement. This is a daily chart. As you can see, all I'm going to show you, we've been here for, you know, about six or seven days. But what I'm going to do now is walk through and show you short-term and long-term. Short-term, this is what's happened. You come up and take a look at this. We'll be watching it very, very closely. And there you are. You'll see it right there. And there's where you are. You see these lower tops these last few days. You see the 382 retracement yesterday. And, of course, the market was way up here with the Dow Jones and the E-mini S&P. Not so with the NASDAQ. And then if you carried it one step farther, I know it's a repeat of my show before, but let's look at it again. Here's where we are. Uh, this is the. I'm going to convert it to the S&P because... That's the easiest one to see, and then we'll do it with the uh, do it with the Nasdaq first because I or S and P first, and then the Nasdaq, and you'll see that that brings a, you know a potential move down into this area, which would be bullish because that market is still still very very strong. With the Nasdaq, you know it's a it's a totally it's a totally different story because you know it's moving down a lot faster. And it's also exceeding some of the areas, but it's got a chance to make a big A, B, C, D down there. And that's the one we have to pay really close attention to. And we're going to show it to you right now. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. And there you are. You'll see went right to that level right there. This is We're trading at uh, 21, excuse me, 12,600 and uh, yeah, 12,657 right now. This number is the key number. I don't think it'll be hit today. If this get hits today, this will be a really bad move to the downside. So uh, this is the number that's going to be important because if we get below that, then you're looking at something more ominous. And how can anything be ominous in this? Well, let's think about this a little bit. We've had a heck of a move in some of these things. And what has, you know, we had some big moves. I mean, monster moves. One of the, well, the, by far the biggest you know, bull market ever. But I want you to take a look at this. Now, this is going back. I'm going to talk a little bit of history now because see where we stand here with some of this stuff. And you'll remember some of the things we talked about in other markets. But going back here, you can see uh, this was the COVID episode, episode right here. We came down to a 78% retracement and then never looked back. For a year and a half, this market went straight up. Okay, then it started to come down, and look at this, folks. We came down all of this way right here, and we made a 382 retracement in the NASDAQ. Now, remember, this is the technical people, and they have all the, the stuff between their ears, you know, that, that makes this things work. And it only can make the 382 retracement. Now, remember, we made a 78% retracement of the Dow Jones, and we made a 61% retracement of the S&P. And we didn't even make a 382 retracement of the Russell. So it's basically the thing that ran the market the most is now the weakest. Now, to me, I don't know. I'm just uh, throwing that out there. It probably rally a thousand points from here, maybe two thousand, and I wouldn't. That wouldn't even surprise me. <laughs> but anyway, that's a question that I'm asking myself to see if that is in fact, uh, you know, what's going on with some of these things, okay? That's the, that's the important thing of, you know, what we're paying really close attention to here today. Okay, now let's move on to uh, one other thing that I wanted to uh, mention, and that is uh, natural gas. This was uh, given to us by our good friend, Mr. Alan Smith over there in the UK. He does some really great work 
Uh oh, hit the wrong button, Larry. Don't do that. That you know, people don't want to see pictures of Amazon's buying page. Okay, let's get the. Uh, uh, there we go. Now uh, we can get that up. Uh, all right, now I've got to get the page here, and soon I'll be able to put this in without any trouble. We're going to take a look at natural gas because we're getting really close, boys and girls. Now I want to want you to take a look at this natural gas, folks. This is a long-term chart. You'll notice, look at these beautiful patterns that are here. Look at the big pattern. There's your low. There's your high. There's your low. That's a perfect ABCD, and it's also known up here as a double top. This from this level here of 10 down to 2, <laughs> that's 80 grand, boys and girls. You can go out to eat. If you make 80 grand in a period of three and a half months, you can go, to, go out to eat probably once a week. But look at this. You have your top made. You come down. You rally up to exactly 61% retracement. And then you come down and look at this. You've exceeded the 1.618 on the downside. That's what we're looking at with the natural gas is we got something really exciting coming up here, folks, much like what we had in soybeans last Thursday. Now, let's take a look at that. And maybe you can uh, you become a uh, fan or maybe even a dissenter. Who knows? We like everybody. Everybody's loved here. Okay, now there's where we are. We're looking, you can see this is the natural gas, just you know, spread out over the last five, six, seven days. But this number right here equates to that number that we were just looking at on the larger chart. We're gonna be following that to see if we get down to that 206 level. By the way, if you're in, interested in intelligent risk speculation, we have one from our good wolf trader friend, Shane Smolian, who does a lot of astrological work. He happens to live in Miami Beach, or he lives in Miami, not in Miami Beach. And he said that there's a very strong indication that the Miami Hurricanes, because of the astrological chart that they have at the University of Miami, are going to be playing pretty good ball. And so they are a 5 to 1 underdog. So if you get up $5, you get $25 back. So they're paying you 4 to 1. And that's a pretty good bet because they have a good team, and that's all you have to do. So if you bet $5, you win 25. If you bet 50, like the old cowboy did, Johnny said he put his five on it. Anyway, and if it doesn't lose, or if it, they lose, all you have to do is call me, and I'll give you Shane Smolian's home number, home address, and all of his relatives, and you can tell them that he was wrong about something. Hey, it's it's something to do, folks. That's really all it is. It's, you know, <laughs> just like the Kentucky Derby. I won the Derby in '87. 94 and uh, 2006, and uh, have, I lost all the other 22 times, so or 32 times. So <laughs> it's fun. That's all I can tell you. Where I well, I lived in Terre Haute, Indiana, which is uh, about 100 miles from about, about yeah, it's about 100 miles from uh, uh, Louisville, and we used to go down there to the Derby in college days. And in high school days, too, you could get in for a dollar because it's a fairgrounds, and we watched the Kentucky Derby, went down to see a secretariat, but that was back in 73. Anyway, let's take a break here. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
TFNN has just launched their new trading room, the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with the Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In the Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have a caller from Spokane, Washington. Bob, how are you doing today, my friend? Good. How are you, Larry? Oh, very good. What can I do for you, pal? Well, I'm I'm long the December corn from mm -hmm. uh, 558, and just wondering what your thoughts are here. Uh, we're approaching some resistance, and mm -hmm. I was wondering what your thoughts. I'd just as soon hold it till November, but... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, you can certainly do anyway, that. Anyway, what are your thoughts? Putting, well, it's certainly bullish down there at that uh, 625 level, so you've had a good move in it. Uh, you were in the midst of the planning, so there's not too much of a seasonal thing for crop failures or stuff like that. So I think it's a good bet. I really do. I bought some soybeans a few days ago. We sold them out a little bit, sold them out this mm -hmm. morning. Uh, when they were up about 23 cents and so they've gone up to be 30 cents higher so uh, there's some buying coming in somewhere in these soybeans so they're, that'll roll over to the corn too so what I would do if I had the opportunity and the chance I'd put my stop at break even and go to uh, Cabo San Lucas and spend a couple of months <laughs> just uh, laying in the sun with pina coladas because that's what yeah, I told well, my people. Maybe I'll to do. go to Tucson and go to the Guadalajara restaurant too. Hey, I mean, come I don't on know. down! Come on down! Love to see you again. <laughs> Love to see you again. That's for sure. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. it's a warm weather anyway, starting to come in now. Which my is good. secondary question is <clears throat> on the euro. Yes. Um, struggling with the euro a little bit here, and with whipsaw back and forth with with a. 40 to, to 60 pip stop. It doesn't seem like that's quite enough lately. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, wider stops? Uh, it depends on your time frame, Bob. If you've got a time frame that's based on a four hour or an hourly, yeah, you could extend it out to five to seven or eight hundred dollars if you wanted to. But I do most of the stuff on 30 minute and 15 minute because it's so accurate that it does pretty good. Like I sold the 382 and it's been against me now, so I'm out about $400, but another $200 and I'm gone. You know, So all I have to do is to yeah. wait because we went up exactly to the 61% retracement and believe, I mean, the fact that it stayed there all day, I couldn't believe it. I mean, it's just it hasn't gone above it, but it probably will soon and then I'll be gone. But, you know, I don't really watch it once I, once I start to look at it. So that's 
That's pretty yeah. much what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. My my problem is that it seems to move during the night, and I like sleeping <laughs> more than you do. So ah, sleeping. That's, that's an the problem. Interesting thing. Yeah. yeah. It's way overrated, my friend. It's way overrated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have plenty of time to sleep later, right? Later, that's correct. I, You know, Bob, I've been doing this same sleep pattern since I was about five or six years old. Even le younger than that, my mother tells me when I, when I was in the crib, I would wake up at 5.30 or 6 o'clock and they wouldn't have to come to get me at 8. And I'd be in there babbling and, you know, talking to myself and stuff like that. <laughs> and uh, so, and I, you know, I'm still doing the same thing at 82. So <laughs> I guess I'm doing something that's, right. That's funny. <laughs> and I'm just not sleeping in a crib. Maybe soon, but not yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, hey, listen, very thanks good. for calling okay, in, my well, friend. Thank you come for down uh, again taking and the love second show you. and doing all that you do. We yeah, really yeah, well, the it. second show, I've, I got to do this because David was a dear friend and I, I just mm -hmm. think he's the greatest. Anyway, that's what we're looking at. So we'll talk to you soon. Okay, my friend? Okay, very good, Larry. You bet. Bye-bye. Okay, folks. Uh, we got the natural gas is uh, moving down for some reason. Oh, that's what I put that in there. Let's get me. Let's get the natural gas up again, and we will take a quick look at this. And uh, this because we're waiting for this pattern. Let's look at it together. This is what I what I do. So we want to so see if we can do it together here anyway. We got to do is find the natural gas. There it is. And hold on now. I just want to convert it over to the daily so we can see it clearly enough. If you're lucky enough to get through, folks, it's 877 927 6648. And we want to go down to our four hour because that's what we're waiting for. We're getting really close, folks. We might even hit it today. Okay, let's get up here. There we go. Yeah, let's try it now and see if we can get this set up so we can take a look at it. Someone asked me, am I short to natural gas? Folks, you know, I look at a lot of things, and I, I try to pick the ones that are the easiest. This was certainly an easy one, but this can't do everything. As long beans, long hogs, got out of those, and uh, we've been short the euro, uh, short stock since yesterday. Uh, we're out of bonds, the long bond, so that's basically it. But let's take a look here. It's I don't know why it keeps beeping, so bear with me here. There's several things beeping, so bear with me here for just a second. Uh, there it is. I know why we're getting, getting down really close to it. We're only, actually, we're only 11 points away. Wait till it turns off. Come on, what's going on here? I hope that stops it. Anyway, let's get back to talking about this, and hopefully we'll have something in the screen that we can see. Nope, just a minute. I got a problem. Hold on. Trouble in River City, boys and girls. Give me one second. Just give me one second, and we will get this up here so we can see it. Looks like I'm going to have to put an order in on that natural gas because it's getting down there. All righty, let's, let's put it into the file, and we'll move it over, and we'll take a look at it. This is what I'm doing now. We're talking to you, and I hear the bell ring. Muhammad Ali has just come out of the corner for a fight, and we have Marion from New York in time frames of the S&P. What can I do for you, Marion? Hi, Larry. How are you? This is Maria from the, the Den. How are you? Very good. That's good. It's good to see you. I'm glad you called in and call in as often as you can. I like to talk to the folks. So. Yeah. It's so difficult to get through because there's so many people calling today. Oh, are you kidding me? One guy got time. through this morning and there was almost a record. Uh, what can I do for you? So I hope everything is fine. But thank you very much for your help and for the, the extra hours that you're giving us. Um, just I have a question. For example, if you have, if you see a pattern, for example, for under 30 minutes, and it completes. Um, do you take every, and you think that, for example, like you and me, we are pretty bearish the market. Um, but if you see that it has completed on the 30 minutes, do you take all your chips away and then you wait for a retracement, or do you um, take partial profits and let it run? For example, here okay. I had like this pattern that eventually the the. Okay. From uh, 40, 40, or 40, 37 yesterday, we could go to yeah. 39, 85 to 39, yes. 75 yes. on the, yes, Certainly and we got yeah. there, right? So okay. do you take everything out, 
Or no. do you take partial because you think it, uh, you still have a bit more juice a bit further down? Yeah, here's, here's the answer to the question, and I feel very strongly about this answer, okay? Mm. And that is, if you put the chart, if you put your trade on on a half-hour chart, okay, mm. trade that half-hour chart. Don't go switching over to the hourly or the daily or the weekly. Stay with that 30-minute okay. or 15-minute, whatever you're doing. Do it on that chart. Don't go jumping around. Because that's where okay. you get. You see how that you had to answer three different questions when you when you move to another chart. See, so it's a totally different pattern. So if you're doing a 30 minute pattern, trade the 30 minute, and you're going to be far better okay. off than if you switch over to a daily or something. Thank you so much, Larry. Have a good one. You bet. That twenty dollars will be in the mail, Mary. And thank you so much for calling <laughs> thank in. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We're going to pay a few bills here for TFNN, folks. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I posted a chart of my artificial intelligence program, uh, the AI that shows a roughly idea what the guess is on the S&P. Uh, and this happens to be it. You notice here in about uh, 15 minutes, this thing is supposed to start to rally. Now, remember, this is related to time. It doesn't mean that it's going to go up. This one went down during that time, but it doesn't tell you that it was going to go there. They just put this ahead. You have this red line all day long, but it doesn't say that if you start going up, this red line is wrong. So you're right here right now. Now, in 15 minutes, if this is making a high, this is not a good sign because that means that would be in getting ready to flip or invert, and then you would be able to do it. It's really simple. You can do it by hand. You won't get the statistics that are available with the computer and stuff. But if you go back and look at what really happens in the market, uh, this was a big revelation to me. What happens on Wednesday 
go back and look at the times that happened on Monday. They'll be really close. In other words, the market skips a beat, just like a heartbeat. Monday to Wednesday, Wednesday to Friday, Friday to Tuesday. You've got to skip those days, and you'll be really surprised at how often you're going to be able to pick highs and lows. And we looked a lot of different things, folks. We went through two MIPS computers. Uh, these were really fast things from, I think we bought them from Hewlett Packard. They were six grand a piece back in the early, hey, late 80s, early 90s. Twentyman and I, I bought, Twentyman and I bought a computer together. We were trading at Conti, uh, and one of these, uh, what was the name of that company that put it together? Anyway, oh gosh, they had, but you had to build it, and an engineer built it for us. We were in about 2,500, and it calculated. Uh, Fibonacci numbers for us automatically and stuff. But anyway, we want to watch this because in this next 15 minutes, that's going to give us an idea because yeah, we could easily hit this and rally for the rest of the day because the market is not down that far. It's come back a little bit. Uh, you were up about, again, about 40 points or so from that. So it's uh, it's not too bad. You know, it's not a not as bad as it could be, better than it might be. You know, that's all we're looking at. Okay, anyway. Uh, how much of the S&P rallied? About five points. So there's very little rally uh, going on right now, but we'll see, you know, uh, how the darn thing uh, ends up here. Okay, now let's move on here, and we'll do this. We'll do this together and see if it's going to come. If you have any questions, you know, that'll be fine. But I'll I'll do some other things as we're waiting for the market to move. I want to get this out of the way and put it up so that I can keep an eye on it, and we'll just move it over here because. We're starting to move down just a little bit now, and then we'll see uh, what happens. Now, let's go into some of the mistakes I make as a trader, okay? And if you belong to the 24-7, uh, you're going to be uh, uh, aware of this because I, I spent uh, quite – oh, did I take that out already? Shut the front. No, I didn't. It's right here. Okay, here's where we are. We bought these soybeans here last Thursday into the report, okay? And the report came out. It was slightly bearish. It went down. We were able to get our buy-in. It missed our sell stop by about, there's where the report was. Uh, we had our buy-in here. We had bought it right there. We almost got stopped out for a $300 loss. And today, we were coming in. We now had a $0.60 cent profit in this setting up here at this level where we had a 382 of the contract high in five days. And we were at a 61% retracement of the high that we made five days ago. So I said, you have a choice here. I said, you either get out or you use a trailing stop. And I told them, I'm going to get out. I'm going to book it. And so I did. And guess what? The market went up another six cents. Hey, maybe it goes up another 30 cents. Do I care? No. I move on to the next trade. And don't worry about it. You got to shake it off. The, you remember, remember the guy who I'm replacing now, David White. I should say this: this is the sell when you want to, not when you have to. What a great, uh, what a great saying that is, because you folks, you're hardly ever, ever going to get the high tick or the low tick. Get, get used to that thought, because it's not important. It's what you make in the middle. Uh, Roger Babbitt, who was one of the which Roger Rabbit. <laughs> Stop it, Larry. Roger Babson, who was a great speculator and a big fan of Isaac Newton, made fortunes in the stock market. And one of his sayings, just like the saying with uh, J.P. Morgan and also uh, his very good friend, oh, what was the stock guy's name? I'll think of it in a second. I know so many people, I lose track of them, all of them, but I didn't know these guys, but they were their sayings of what was important. He made most of his money Roger Babson was one, and J.P. Morgan was the other, and the third one was right on the tip of my tongue, and I'll remember it in just a second here. But they said he made all of his money between the two-thirds of the time that the low was made and the high was made. He wasn't interested in the low. He wasn't interested in the high. He was interested in the part in the middle. So very, very interesting. Now, I want to share with you what I think is a really important pattern that was a failure pattern that turned out to be an absolute monster to the upside. And I want to bring that to your attention because it's, it's something that w when you see these, you've got to remember that when they do happen, that, that you're able to come in and say, ooh, I just have to get in and buy it because it, it looks so very, very interesting. So give me one second here and I will find – oh, did I – Oh, I delete so many things, and I've got to. I think I covered the stuff with the uh, with 
with the NASDAQ. I showed, yeah, I did that because that's so very, very important. Oh, did I, I, the, the chart is so powerful. You know what I can do? I got to reconstruct it, folks. Hold on. Time out. Let's take a, take a break here because we've got a few minutes here before the stock market's supposed to bottom. And then we'll see. Let's move over for just a little bit. And where is that crude oil at? Uh, it's got to be here somewhere. Okay, here it is. This was the pattern on Sunday that uh, was a real big one, and uh, and I actually I didn't I didn't take advantage of it, folks. It was real. Uh, it was not uh, not a happy day because I missed it, and that was the real thing. Where is that? Is that an hourly chart? Yeah, there it is. This is what I want right here. Okay, all right. Let's get this up here and take a quick look at it so we can see it here. Okay, folks, this is the uh, crude oil Sunday night right here. We were sitting right at that 61% retracement, okay? And I went short over the weekend. Excuse me, uh, 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 right on the weekend. So I hope it opened a little bit higher, about 60 points against me. I'm sure. Okay, so it comes down and fills this little gap in here and then doesn't go anywhere. And I'm short. And I say, hey, this doesn't look really very bearish because it's not going down. So I said, I'll cover it. The trade of the day was to reverse your position and go long because look what happened. See, as soon as you went above that secondary high right here, there, your, your risk factor now becomes this low right here. And that's when you bought it. That was a $3 move, folks, with virtually no witness of a possible loss. And those are the kind that you like to see. Now, someone's going to ask me the question, what does the ABCD on this pattern say? And it says that we're going to $74.50 to $75 a barrel. We're now trading at $73.05. So it's looking pretty good, as they say in a trade. So let's remind ourselves of that, okay? Now, we'll keep moving here to see what's going on. Uh -uh, we, uh, we're still about 15 minutes away, boys and girls. We're going to find out soon whether we're going to get a rally moving. Hey, and believe me, this thing's wrong about two thir or a third of the time, so you've only got an odds in your favor about 62%. So I'm going to put some limit winders here to see what direction I think we're going to be going because here I just want to show you what I'm going to be here in just a second so I can you can see how I do this. Okay, there we go. When we come back, the mystery will be solved. We'll be right back. Folks. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. 
first time subscribers also get a 30 day money back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24 7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're back, and I'm going to post the chart that I'm currently looking at to tell me whether we're going to be going up or down. Always an interesting thing. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to be showing you that, in fact, it looks like we're completing a small ABCD pattern here. Remember, this is micro trading, folks. I don't do this very often, but since no one calls in, I try to you know, give them some ideas. But you can see here, this is the S&P on the two-minute chart over the last hour, so you can see we're making an ABCD pattern. The problem is, if it's making it exactly here in about 10 minutes, up around uh, 1992, I believe, that's where we're in, 1992, then uh, this would be flipping over, and that would be very negative to the market. However, if it comes down into this point in the next uh, 15 minutes, then we, we know something. Remember, this has been going on for a long time. The last part of the day is the least... Um, important and I, I've said this many times all you have to do to find these times is to skip a day do it on any market you want look at the market on Monday write the key times that it changed and then when you're trading on Wednesday watch for those key times to pop up free information sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but it's better than a roll of the dice a pull of a slot machine the toss of a card or the flip of the card or stuff like that that's it I said something on the Earlier, so you know, you have a covey of quail, a herd of cattle, uh, a flock of sheep. Do you know what they call black swans when they're together? A bank. Now, how could anybody make that up? Isn't that amazing? Because I think that's where the real problems are in the market because the banking segment is so, so very, very uh, oversold and will not bounce. Even on days like we had earlier today where the market had a big run, then, yeah, that was a big deal. But until that happens, uh, we'll uh, be, able, be able to see. We're almost up. This is the one I want to show you here. We're almost up to this level here uh, in the S&P. You'll be able to see it now, I hope. Uh, I'm going to put it in the file so that I know it'll go through. And then we'll take a look at it. Because this is exactly what I'm looking at. It's did. See, the S&P's rally, oh, 10, 50, well, 7, 8 points. But this is micro trading. But micro trading is my name. Hold on just a second. No, that's not true either. Nah, where'd that thing go? I got so many of these. There it is. I just have to quickly look at them, and you'll see here's where we are. All right, get this up here. Okay. Any questions? 877-927-6648. Okay, now there the market. You see the market is not going down like it was here. See, it flipped here the very first time to say, hey, get aware of that. Then, so if you flip that over from right there where, is where it happened, it's making a high in here. Instead of a low, you see it's making a high. Here was the first time the skip the beat. There's the second time. So if you flip that, inverted it, you'd see that, oh, wow, that's doing what it's supposed to be doing. So what we're going to do now, just for kicks and giggles, only because you've been so kind and we don't have anybody calling in, I want to get this up here and take a look to show you 
what I'm looking at, and by golly, you'll be able to see it. All I'm going to do now, folks, is I am going to invert it. Just one second here. So you'll be able to see this easy enough. Hold on right here. Okay. All right. And all I got to do now is to go here and turn it upside down, and then we'll be in business. Okay. It might not work at all, but, you know, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. That's all you can say. Okay. And this, uh, here we go. We're running. Okay. Okay, let's get this up here. All righty, let's move here. Okay, now all I did was take that red line and I flipped it upside down. See, this right here, you see that right there? That's when it first started to invert. And here's the second time. This means that this, is a, this should be an ending rally right here. So that's uh, something to pay attention to. I don't know how this is going to go. You know, it might make a 61% retracement of the whole run. That's not too bad, but that would be making a high here and not a low if that's correct. And that's where the problem lies. Okay, so we're going to see. Uh, I have to figure out what the ratios are to the upside, but the highest level we're looking at here from the last run would come in right around uh, 390, 3996. And we have a winner on the. Uh, Price is right. We'll be right with you. Just one second. As soon as I can cat it up, we've got, uh, oh, we've got Jerome back from California. Is this a different Jerome? No, yeah, this is Jerome from California. You didn't call in before, did you? Oh, yeah, a couple times, and then we had that wonderful lunch together at that favorite oh, oh, God, Oh, gosh, yes, place. I know you, but I, I had, oh, you know what I messed up? The guy's name was Jeremiah, not Jerome. Sure, of course, I, we just had lunch together at the, uh, uh, at uh, Vervacci's. In fact, I'm going there for lunch today. What can I do for you, my friend? So, um, I was wondering if you might do a show sometime on harmonic numbers, the best way to use them, whether sure. they expand and contract and how sure. um, how we might uh, find them favorable to use. Oh, yeah, you bet. What I'll, even I'll try to get Twentyman on the line and see if he'll throw in some stuff. But he's, he's a recluse. He doesn't like the public eye. So I'll do the harmonic numbers tomorrow on the second show. How's that? Wonderful. Yep. And how I found them and how we got to them, how you can do it yourself. It's, uh, it's a good one. The best thing for that is it gives you risk management. So that's the main thing to be watching. So, hey, listen, thanks for calling in. I remember enjoying sitting there with you and your wife, and uh, it was really very lovely. I think that's about the third time we've had lunch, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> well, come down anytime, my friend. We appreciate it. All right. I'm looking forward right. to doing that. Yes, thank you for calling in, Jerome. You bet. Okay, bet. folks, we're reaching the key time here now. And uh, we if we're any good, we're going to just blast off to the upside. We get above uh, 1996. That means this is a major lowdown in here. And that's the way it is. But right now, that's going to be the, what I'll be looking at now is the fact that we are setting right at a level that's going to be really, really interesting uh, to work with here. So that's the main thing. Uh, to remember, it's a very, very interesting spot. Boy, that 350. Okay, we're hanging in there. All right, with that one. Hold on one second. I want to make sure that I, I got all these things lined up here because I've got a bunch of uh, positions on that I want to uh, keep working on. So that's the main thing that I want to look at. There we have it. Uh, 25. Okay, I think I'm almost ready. Give me one thing to do here, and then I will be right back with you here. Hold on one second. I've got to get in here, and uh, ah, let's just leave it like it is. I think we'll be okay. Well, never know, never know. Just got to be careful here. Got another caller coming in. Shut the front door and raise the rent. That's uh, that's a toughie. Hold on here. Put that there's where we are. Uh, oh, shucks. Hold on just a minute here. Stay with me, boys and girls. I'll be right with you. I've got I've got a little mix up here on the old uh, tote board. I want to. See for sure that we can uh, get this in here without too much trouble here. I'm coming, mother. Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. I don't don't want to go nuts on me or anything. So hold on. We'll be right back here. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Sorry, folks.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. It must be Christmas Day, folks, because I have a present for you. We're going to unwrap it now and talk to Mr. T from Houston, Texas. Al, how are you doing today, my friend? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, buddy. <laughs> what right. can I do for you? Oh, my goodness. What a wild uh, New Year's. Yeah, we had a pretty good year. We've been lucky. Anyway, yes, my sir. friend, what are you looking at? Yeah, um, going back to uh, Bitcoin, um, yes, that's been kind of um, hitting the top, sort of. Yes, and, it uh, is. Um, I know our good friend um, Shane is um, utilizing Bitcoin with gold as inverses, mm -hmm. uh -huh. but uh, I'm I'm just trying to figure out where is this Bitcoin heading to? Are we still yeah. no, seeing I, some I'll kind of bottom? Yeah, we we've hit a major three eight two retracement here. We we've, we've talked about it several times and put it in the newsletter. But twenty eight thousand four hundred, it's been there like six or seven times over the last six or seven days, and they can't get mm -hmm. through it. If we can ever get a close above twenty nine thousand four hundred or something like that, then it's a breakout to the upside. But right now it looks like an A B C D pattern right at a three eight two of a previous high. I wouldn't touch it. It's just not uh, just not worth it. So stay away from it. It's just not. Uh, it's very risky right here. Wait and buy a pullback, you know, or if it does break out, it'll give you a chance. But, uh, you know, right now it's just right out of 3A2. In fact, it's been selling off a little bit, which tells you maybe that 28,400 is correct. But if we close above 28,400, 
that would be a very positive thing for the blockchain stuff. But I don't trade those. I just watch them. Yeah, it's uh, it's been uh, yeah. I, I got out of it a while back, and I just wasn't sure what to do. I'm just dealing with. Um, I mean, I've been doing fine with gold, and I just uh, took some Good. profits. And uh, I'm looking at that NG right now again. But boy, that thing's a widow maker for sure. Yeah, look and, at it uh, around two o three, Al. Look at it two o three. Only about twelve points away now. Okay, probably tomorrow. Yes, sir. All right. All right, buddy. Thanks for calling in, folks. We'll see you tomorrow, folks. 877-927-6648. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless.